Hey everybody, it's your favorite Orange County car dude, Danny here. Today we have a very special show. We're actually coming to you from Orange County, my neck of the woods. We're in the city of Placentia, which is nestled between Yobalina, Fullerton, and Brea. And we are here at Mr. D's Diner. They are doing a collaboration with Gasoline and Caffeine OC. Uh, along with Mr. D's, they're having a canned food drive, so it's definitely a good cause. So everybody's gathered together for a good cause and seeing lots of cool cars on the way. So it's getting crowded already. Uh, started about an hour ago, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, getting quite crowded already. And uh, we are going to get a chance to see all kinds of nice cars here. I think they have McLarens here. They have Ferrari. Like I said, we're going to have tons and tons of cool vehicles here today. So I'm going to be turning around the camera here in a few minutes. And that will be show you some of the sweet cars that we have on display here. All right, we have a Lamborghini convertible trying to pull into the space here. Very rare addition. Excuse me for the uh, noisy mic input, but uh, it is quite loud here. Got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, we want to not bring you the sights and sounds of uh, this cars and caffeine type of event. So. It's going to be kind of a pan around of what's going on here. All these folks are here to see some sweet cars. I see young people here, so it's good to see the young generation of car folks are here getting a glimpse of these nice cars here. They're excited about something? Let's go that way. All right, we have a little bit of time. We have a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. All right, and what would be a car show without bringing the Ford GT? Your Series 1 in blue. Very nice. These are super rare. Only a few that uh, are cruising down the street, especially here in Orange County. Ford GT with a Porsche Turbo. Actually, supercharged 5.5 liter Ford power plant. Take a look inside. It's going to be a six speed of course all these gts were made in manual shift only and then we have one in the livery green gold color it's awesome people like that and then we have a mclaren here everybody loves a mclaren so check that out I'll give you a cool clip of the interior very beautiful metallic gray color Get you a front view of that. Let's pan along here. Got another McLaren, which is black out. Very cool. Look how low to the ground these things are. Maybe two or three inches of ground clearance. That's about it. Then, of course, we need a yellow Ferrari to make the show a Ferrari type event here. Look at that. Let's get an interior shot of this beautiful bumblebee Ferrari here. Look at that. Nice dash here. Nice interior. And then that'll bring us to the orange Lamborghini here. Let's check this out. Beautiful orange Lamborghini. Convertible, of course. Let's get you a inside look of this thing. And speaking of, there's a, another orange Lamborghini. Let's walk around here to a lime green Lamborghini. You can never have too many Lamborghinis. Here's the white one we saw earlier get a chance to uh, see how low this thing is. Wow. <laughs> and let's take a look at the interior here. Nice convertible top. Look at that. And of course the engine is right there. See if we get a glimpse of the engine in the back here. How about that? Huh? <laughs> 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 Look at that. 
Here we have a Lamborghini, carbon fiber and yellow. Pan around to see this thing. All right. Lamborghini in carbon fiber. Take a look at the interior here. Huge paddle shifters, of course. The all those buttons in the center console. Nice. And here is a, another Lamborghini. Let's take a look at this. Wow. Nice. Ooh, they've got the doors. Scissor doors open for us. Check it out. This is the interior look like. Get a nice glimpse of the interior here. Look at that. Nice. This will be so fun to drive in a beautiful Southern California day like today. Gorgeous weather. Wind flying through your hairs. You can't beat it. Final shots of the Lamborghini here. Check it out guys, this is a Kona Seg. You actually don't see too many of these on the road. Which I thought I'd bring it to you. It's got a very strange center wiper, which I guess when it's at rest, you'll sit in the middle of the windshield. Beautiful carbon fiber frame, look at that. Kona Seg seats. Let's get you a shot of the interior, all carbon fiber. And look at the cool thing is you can actually see a skeleton of the door frame. See all the uh, levers and gears there, which is kind of interesting. You would think for uh, the price of this car, they would cover it, but nope, they actually do it purposely for aesthetics. So you can see how cool all the engineering is going to this car. And again, zoom out. Look at that. And this is probably the view that most people will be seeing as this is going down the street. The thing has got to be awful fast. One more set. And that is the Kona set and a clan. And here we have Import Alley. Here is a old school 90s Acura NSX. And that Ferrari red color. Get a shot of the interior. Six speed manual. Look at the steering wheel. They actually tilted it up so you can get out. Very nice. We have a shot of the engine in the back here. Very nice. Acura NXX. Oh, we can just, oh nice. Ooh, NXX, look at that. There's only two on the planet like that. You're Plus kidding. Tail lights. Nice. Buddy Mike made them. He has the other one. Nice. Looks better at night, obviously. Hey guys, so we got a treat. We're here with Rick, the owner of this beautiful NSX. And he's going to tell us some of the great details that he's uh, put onto this car. So Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this car? What year is it and what's it? It's a uh, 95 Acura NSX. Uh, bought it about three years ago and uh, been building for the last two years. Finally got it all finished. Had a really good group of guys that helped me build this car. Uh, HQ Engineering did the engine build. Transmission has a water cold supercharger on it. Uh, APR Performance did me a custom wing and splitter for it. Raised wheels, uh, helped with the donating the TE37 Saga wheels. Uh, let's see, Bell's Autosport. Wow. Six months doing the body work on it. Four different body kits on it and uh the color is actually a 2017 acura nsx curva red, Purple red. Uh, nice. about four months ago honda north america out of torrance uh did a photo shoot with my car nice. and a 2017 acura nsx and uh, had them side by side in the studio and it was a lot of fun shooting it i can imagine and, uh, i got some pictures i'll share with you so you can put it with the video nice nice and, Rick. Uh, it was a lot of fun uh, a friend of mine galvin uh made me the custom tail lights there's only two on the planet uh, basically what my thought was is when I built the car is they were going to rebuild the car now right. just modernize and freshen it right. uh, has a custom digital dash from Sweden the rear Lexan window is uh, from Austria with a JDM scoop 
and it's actually a functional uh, air scoop. It's got to cut into the uh, uh, plastic Lexan window. It gets fresher into there. Right. Uh, just everything. I haven't. No, no, no rock was unturned. Wow, that's so crazy. So it was a lot of fun building over the last two years. It's definitely a labor of love, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. When the car first came out, I was married, six days a week working. <laughs> Couldn't rub two nickels together right. like we all were. Right, right. And now, you know, a little bit older. Yeah. Got white, white in my beard. Right, and, I hear uh, you. Thank God, and I, I was able to find this car three years ago. Yeah. Found it bone stock and was able to put it all together and see what they see here today. Yeah, well guys, that's the ultimate car guy story, man. I mean, we all wish to find our dream car. Was this one of your dream cars growing it up? It was the dream I car. I can imagine. Uh, it was a dream car. Yes, it was. Yeah, when I saw this in the, in the 90s, early 90s, I just dreamt of having one. Of course, no. Back in yeah. the day, no one could afford that. No, no. Yeah, when it first came out. Yeah, back in the day, they were they were reasonable for what Honda put out. Yeah. But still, you know, raising a family, yeah. working six days a week, yeah. it was just uh, very, very hard to make anything like this happen. Yeah. So, uh, Rick, I'm uh, glad you got a chance to do all this now. Uh, Thank you. What's uh, What's the plan for this? Showing more shows along the way here? Yeah. Uh, usually, I'm a uh, booth car for Toyota Tires at some of their shows. Nice. Uh, I've been uh, a booth car for APR Performance at some of the shows they go to. Yeah. And then you'll see me at Cars and Coffee. I was just down at San Clemente Cars and Coffee okay. this morning. Yeah. Uh, wow, you're busy. Day, beautiful day like yeah. this. It's like you it's can't beat it, driven. right? Yeah. yeah. I can just imagine. Driven, so. Imagine driving this sucker down PCH, man. What a joy to have. Oh, it's yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. We're lucky here. Very, Absolutely, very lucky. A beautiful day here. So, all right, Rick. Well, uh, thank for you for talking to you. Yeah, for time to you. Thanks for having right. me. Thank you. Take care. Good luck, everyone. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. It's been a very fun day here in Southern California. Super sunny, it's like 80 degrees out here. Look at all these beautiful cars we got in our backyard. Check it out. So as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe to my channel and we will bring you more good stuff along the way. Just want to say a special thanks to uh, gasoline and caffeine OC I will put their link in the below here so you can find out where they are and also to Mr. D's uh, diner here in Placentia so if you're ever in town and want a good meal breakfast lunch or dinner stop by Mr. D's they'll hook you up with some good food so once again Danny here wrapping it up for the day thank you so much for watching please subscribe and we will see you at the next one